This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the accelerated intro to CS course, and I'm on the lesson of maze. Okay, this is just like the last puzzle, but you need to remember how you use the if block and the repeat block together. Ah, okay. So what do we want to do here? Well, okay, how can we use... Okay, so they want us to use only four more blocks because we already have win run. Okay, and so what are we going to want to do? We need to get to here. So I bet we're going to use a repeat block. Okay, and it says we need an if block too. What do I want to check? Hmm. Well, I want to not turn right, but I would want to turn left. So how could I do this? I know I need to move forward, but if I just do this, if I hit run, and you should always test your code, I'm just going to hit that wall, right? And I don't have enough blocks to hit move forward, move forward, move forward, go left. So we're going to use this repeat block. Hmm. How about, what if I check? Because when I'm walking down here, is this on the left of me or the right? That would be on the left of me. And this guy is on the left of me. What if we do if path to right? Oh, uh, turn right. Let's turn every time there's a right. Right? Because when he's walking, there's a right here. And then I'll walk, 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 and there's a right here. Is that five blocks? Let's try this. And so you can see I'm checking. Oh, yep, there's a right, and I turned right. And then, oh, yeah, there's a right, and I turned right. And notice all the other times I don't ever turn into this wall. I don't turn into the wall because if there is no right, when I check, when it goes out, if there's no right, I don't turn. The only time I'm turning here is if this is true, if there's a right. So I think we got it. Let's keep going. 